we are asked to find the Laplace transform of an exponential function x of t equal to e minus a t u of t given that a is greater than 0. So let us visualize what is this function in time domain. So since we have a unit step function u of t so it would be starting at 0 and moving towards the right side. e minus a t if a is greater than 0 so this means that it's going to start at 1 and then converge as time tends to infinity. This is our e minus a t u of t. In order to find the Laplace transform of this, we know that x of s is minus infinity to infinity x of t. So this is simply e minus a t u of t. And then this is multiplied by e minus s t dt. So in the second equality, we absorb the unit step function in the limits of this integration. So the integration would start from 0 and go to infinity. Next, we can combine the two exponentials. So we would have e minus s plus a t d of t. So the integration of this function is simply minus 1 over s plus a times the function r t starting from 0 and terminating at infinity. So let's put the limit, the initial limit minus when t tends to 0. In this case, when t is 0, so this whole thing would be 0 and exponential of some uh, and exponential of 0 is simply 1. So we are having a 1 here. So the Laplace transform is much more dependent on this limit. So at time infinity, would this function converge or diverge? So if it converges, so this means that this whole function at time infinity would have a value of 0. And if it diverges, then that would mean that this function would have a value of infinity. So when does this function has a value of 0? So this would dictate the region of convergence. We know that this function e minus e minus s plus a as limit t tends to infinity. So this is only 0 if a real part of s plus a is greater than 0. As you can see that a is real and it is greater than 0. So it is converging. So similarly over here we are saying this whole argument of an exponential s plus a. Over here we only had a so now we have an s plus a. So s plus a should be greater than 0. So if this is true then this is true. So this means that real part of s the complex plane would be greater than minus a. So that is if we plot the s plane this is sigma and this is j omega. So we have some value which is minus a. So note that a was positive. So minus a would be on the left side. Let's say this is minus a. So this function suggests that real part of s should be greater than minus a. If we draw a line here, so our s should be in this region. So hence we can say that our region of convergence that is ROC is such that the real part of S is greater than minus A. So for this region of convergence, the algebraic expression X of S is simply 1 over S plus A. A is something that we call as pole, which are in the denominator in this rational function. And they suggest that for our given case, if we set S is equal to minus A. So in that case, if this is minus A and this is plus A, so we would have 1 by 0 and X of S would go to infinity. So the poles determine when this function X of S would go to infinity.
So in short, this algebraic expression, which contains one pole at minus a, which we have represented in terms of a cross. So this would converge only if the value of s is greater than minus a, right? So it's on the left side, on, on this direction. It cannot be at minus a, because if it is on minus a, the overall value of x of s would approach infinity. So poles are not included in the region of convergence. So we can say that x of t e minus a t u of t for a greater than zero. So the transform, the Laplace transform x of s is simply one over s plus a and the ROC region of convergence is real part of s is greater than minus a. So basically we have uh, this function in Laplace domain that is x of s which is equivalent to 1 over s plus a and this a is the pole. So for simplicity we set this equal to 1 and then we uh, do a simulation in MATLAB to understand the time domain interpretation of the region of convergence. So as I mentioned that we have set a equal to 1. So in line 7 we are using a transfer function operation and in the square brackets we have a numerator which is 1 and then in the denominator uh, the coefficient of s is 1 and this itself is 1 so it's simply 1 and 1. It is a basic first order system and next we use figure 1 and then use a subplot command 1 to 1 and then we use another function that is pole zero map of this h to plot the s plane let me comment this and then we can plot so this is our uh, pole zero map we have a real axis and the imaginary axis and our pole is at s equal to minus one because we set a equal to one i'm going to use this space to reflect on the time domain interpretation uh, for this pz map let us uncomment it. So I have used a symbolic operation S Y M S and the variable that I've used can be time or over here I have used X. So the S defines the Laplace variable S and it identifies that for which values of S this whole integration would converge and you would have a finite value. So the pole zero map suggests that anything to the left of it should diverge for example if we set s equal to minus 1.5 so this should lead to this integration approaching infinity so let us put the s equal to minus 1.5 and observe the plot now the blue curve in the time domain plot is simply e minus a t u of t where we have set a equal to 1 and the red plot is simply a multiplication of x of t e minus st without integration so the product of these two when we set s equal to minus 1.5 so that is it is over here so we can observe that if we set s equal to minus 1.5 so we would have a diverging behavior and for these values of s the laplace would not exist so now let us set s equal to minus 1 that is it is exactly at the pole so in this case the red plot that is x of t e minus st is behaving as a unit step function and again if you integrate this red curve again this would become infinity and and hence the laplace transform would not exist but say we set s equal to 1 and then replot it So in this case, we can observe that x of t e minus s t, this is showing a converging behavior as time tends to infinity. In fact, the rate of decay or the rate of decrease is much faster to the original signal which was x of t. So hence anything towards the left of this pole would show a converging behavior. And as this region is simply the region of convergence. As a recap, uh, on the top end of this code, we have the transfer function and the pole zero plot. And at the lower end of this code, 
uh, we have the time domain analysis where we have used the original function which was e raised to power minus t u of t and then the multiplication of x of t with e minus st so this is a simple code but anyway this is given in the description of this video